Thanks, Ken. The Pepsi North America Cup 21st edition. They're off in Canada's richest horse race. Penn Pacific Flight down along the inside. Look to take back a little bit there. Village Hero wanting to be the first leader. Metropolitan is going to measure the front end. Rogue Hall along the inside. Penn Pacific Flight in the Preacher Pan moving on over in very tight quarters. Leaving along the inside was Western Terror, but he is in sixth position. Still far outside. Camelot Hall is seventh. Georgia Pacific is eighth away. Mantacular is ninth. Rapid Dialing was tenth. Village Hero. Metropolitan up on the outside. They battled out the quarter in 25 and 4. John Campbell's going to make front, but he paid for the privilege. 25 and 4 opening split. Metropolitan made the lead. Rogue Hall is pulling on him quickly. Village Hero on the inside third. Penn Pacific Flight is fourth in the backstretch. Georgia Pacific up on the move up into the top five. Staying in Western Terror is six. Mentacular seventh on the outside. Rapid Dialing is eighth. Camelot Hall is ninth. And the Preacher Pan is tenth. Rogue Hall has made the lead half a mile in 54 and 2 27 and 3 second quarter that opening split 26 and 4 rogue hall three eighths of the mile away Penn Pacific flight is taking a shot going into the final turn metropolitan back at the inside third georgia pacific has worked it out perfectly second over onto the final turn mentacular on the outside is fifth village hero sixth in on the cones rapid dialing seventh to the outside of western terror then camelot hall is ninth the preacher pan tenth on the outside Rogue Hall, Penn Pacific Flight, Georgia Pacific from second over top of the stretch in Canada's richest horse race. 123 flat, Penn Pacific Flight, Georgia Pacific, Mantacular on the far outside, rapid dialing to the grandstand side. Metropolitan has come back on through to the wire. Mantacular, Metropolitan, Metropolitan, Mantacular may have been Mantacular and Menzi spectacular. 151 and 2 looked like Mantacular in the photo, just getting Metropolitan in Pepsi North America Cup 21. First here tonight. Let's talk about how the trip worked out for the Colts. Well, you know, it couldn't have gone any better. You never know how these things will go. But uh, I, uh, I had an idea that the Colt would race better if I conserved him early because I, I liked the way he raced uh, over at Mohawk. So uh, uh, we, we had a few little problems with him. But uh, Larry Rathbone, uh, you know, he's just done a great job. I, I've been friends with him for 30 years, and uh, this is just a great time. The trip, I, I ended up following Georgia Pacific. Uh, it, it was a perfect thing, leaving the gate. I see I was going to fall in behind him. I said it couldn't have been better. Let's talk about the Colts' best qualities, Cat. Well, you know, uh, he, uh, he has a lot of uh, good qualities. He's a, he's a, a good lever. He can, he can race any way. He, he's versatile. All right, uh, we want to congratulate you on the win. I know you want to get involved in this winner's circle photo. It's been 13 years since you've been in the Cup. We want to congratulate you on this one. Thanks a lot. Catello Manzi, ladies and gentlemen, has just won the 21st edition of Canada's richest harness race, the $1.6 million Pepsi North America Cup. With thanks to Ken Middleton, as seen live on the score nationally on television, Mantacular is back receiving the North America Cup presentations in the Woodbine Infield Winner Circle. Western Hanover, three-year-old Bay Colt from between two fires, bred by Brittany Farms of Chicago, owned by M&L of Delaware of Wilmington, Delaware. Trained by Larry Rathbone, his first Pepsi North America Cup title. Same for driver Catello Manzi. 
winner of over 10,000 races lifetime, member of the Hall of Fame in the United States. That's the first win in seven starts this year, and it's going to more than quadruple the life's earnings of six Mentacular, 151 and two. He steps to a life's mark in the Pepsi North America Cup 21 photo finish victory. On behalf of our tremendous sponsor, Pepsi, the Vice President of Operations in Canada, Steve Langford, is out in the Woodbine infield winner's circle, along with Dennis Sachs, the Vice President of Development, Senior Vice President of Racing on the Woodbine and Mohawk circuit, Mr. Hugh Mitchell, making the North America Cup presentation to the connections of number six, Mantacular, from Canada's richest horse race.